Hey, welcome back to the show. You know, it was a pretty big week for comics last week. In fact, so busy that I wasn't even able to get around to this review until today. So now let's take a look at The Batman's Grave number two by Warren Ellis and Brian Hitch today on Comic Book News. <laughs> Hey, welcome back to the show. I'm Dan Shaheen. Tip, we're going to talk about comics. We're in the Batcave. It's time for the Batman's Grave. Number two by Warren Ellis with art by Brian Hitch. You know, this was um, really high on my list of stuff to read, if not my most anticipated book to read. Um, but I ended up being really surprised this week. Uh, my favorite book of the week ended up being Usagi Yojimbo, so I had to get a review up of that. The 35th anniversary issue was really great. So then family stuff got in the way, and here we are talking about Batman's Grave. Number two. The other thing is, this one didn't affect me the way I expected it to. I'm still a little bit lukewarm on this title in some ways, but I'm gangbuster, gangbusters in all the right ways. So let's stop talking about it, and let's get into the Million Dollar Comics can. <laughs> So, Batman's Grave number two. Uh, you got to bear with me, folks. We're making some upgrades to the Million Dollar Comics cam this week. I'm hoping for some better lighting and image quality uh, in the very near future. Till then, bear with me. I don't think this looks too bad, though. The pages inside aren't super glossy, so they show up really nice. Um, and we get to see, uh, as, as longtime watcher and commenter Justin mentioned, Batman gets to fight Clint Howard for a bunch of pages. So, um, this from last issue, we remember like Batman basically tracked a murderer back to the scene of the murder and he was hiding under the floorboards of the victim's bed. And this super creepy Clint Howard clown looking dude comes out with a giant scar on his face and he's talking real calm and creepy and he's getting in a knock down, drag out fight with Batman. So what's not to love about that? Especially when it's drawn by Hitch whose speciality is action. And let's, I mean, let's go back to wh where this begins. This is such a hitch thing. The, the, the body flying in motion, the, 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 the mid-air kicks, the, 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 every panel is completely in motion. The, the angles, everything you can see, shot to shot, you can follow this fight very clearly big difference for most uh, fight scenes in comics these days. We got Batarangs coming into play and we got Batman. He's got a utility belt full of stuff. White phosphorus or a stun grenade or a smoke grenade or something. And this guy, there's something wrong with him because he's like clearly resistant to pain. Screaming out some crazy shit. Excuse my language. Taking care of Batman. Uh, pretty hardcore. But ultimately, it is Batman. He knows what he's doing. I don't care. I don't care how tough you are, of a crazy dude you are, unless you're superhuman. Uh, and even then, even if you were superhuman, Batman's got you, right? So we just see he basically ends up closing in and just beating the crap out of this dude. Comes back, talks to Alfred a little, drops him off at the cops, talks to Alfred a little bit, has a little confab with Commissioner Gordon. Uh, Via his uh, his crazy VTOL bat plane. I really like this sort of hand thing here. This this book so far has been really into showing like how Batman could more realistically like climb ropes. And that might seem like a silly point, but man, it's something that Batman does all the time and it's something that's like impossible, like his wrist would break. So I like these little this attention to detail stuff like this. Him flying away with it. Down, down here at the bottom too. Anyway, so he's talking to Mr. Gordon. Apparently, there's a former DA who was corrupt. He became a, 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 a defense attorney and made a lot of money, and he's dead. And there's something wrong with the body. Meanwhile, Batman and and Alfred sort of have some musings and and about like Batman's super technology and how the police could use it, and how maybe that guy, if he sends him to prison, he'll get killed and. The dialogue here, it just ends on such a weird note. That would never mean that he deserved to be murdered. 
Okay, so Warren Ellis, great writer, but it's been a while. He took some time off for health issues. And since he came back from health issues, I, I there hasn't been one of his stories that I've read. Particularly, there have been a couple of Batman short stories. They just haven't had the punch or oomph. He's going for a more subtle, understated approach to Batman, which I admire in this age of Batman metal and spikes and just nonsense all over the place. Everybody wants to be the toughest, craziest goddamn Batman there is. So I admire Ellis's approach. It's a little bit low-key. So far, maybe a little too low-key for most people. I don't hear a lot of people reading this book, talking about it. But I have faith, fans. And I'm going to put a little bit of my reputation on the line here. I'm going to stick reading this. I'm going to continue reviewing it for the foreseeable future because I've got that kind of faith in this team. And heck, even if the story is not the greatest Warren Ellis story ever, it's got really beautiful artwork by Brian Hitch. Oh, and I forgot to say, it looks like Hitch is doing his own inking in this issue. Um, a big change from the from the previous issue who had you know, a really, really great inker. He's doing it himself. Looks really, still really good, uh, and uh, I'm on board. So I'm giving this is a little bit lukewarm for a book I was super excited about, but what are you going to do? I got faith. I'm going to keep watching. Speaking of having faith and watching, you folks out there have been doing it. You've been watching. This channel is growing and growing and growing. We're almost halfway to our journey to a 1,000 subscribers, uh, and from there, the sky is the limit. So keep doing what you're doing comment subscribe hit that bell for notifications oh and did i mention comments yes i did but i'm going to mention it again because i love the comments so much i read every single comment and uh and i respond to lots and lots of them so if you got something to say about batman hitch ellis the bat cave the weird way my nightwing shirt is is, is sort of reflecting the background put it in the comments uh, and i'll respond and we'll see you next time Thanks for watching.